guys, it's uh, my third guide. Uh, this one's for Space Overlords that I picked up on PSN Plus for three games of July. Uh, PS Vita game uh, that is compatible with the PlayStation 4 library. So I've done this on the PlayStation 4 as I don't own a Vita. Uh, so I wasn't expecting much of the game anyway, as it's a Vita game that I've not really heard of. Uh, so basically, this is a Guardian as you're seeing on the screen and all you need to do is go around destroying buildings uh, this factory and this is the game this is your very first level so it's very basic and all you do is you destroy the buildings before the time on the top of the screen runs out and this is all you do uh, and we should destroy all the buildings Beat the planet and you move on to the next planet. Uh, there's eight planets per galaxy, and there is seven galaxies, and then the story is done. You get a trophy for each of the galaxies you beat, and then once you beat all seven, you get a nice gold. Uh, so, graphically, as you see, it's not great. These are supposed to be buildings and uh, mega cities and factories. It's not much to be expected or in a game, but it is a bit bland. The, the planets can be quite colourful, and they add different kind of uh, tasks for you to avoid or be destroyed by or destroy. But it's just pretty much the same thing over and over. The odd kind of gimmick, like destroy every building only using a dash or just doing that. Um, and that is basically the game. So, for the gameplay, the issue you have with this game is it's basic. You do things repeatedly, you're just pressing X and square for your attack buttons, you throw in the odd special uh, and dashing a bit, but that is it, you're doing the same thing every planet. The, there might be minor game modes just to tweak things, they make the turrets a bit more powerful, or they might throw it as an overlord deathmatch, but all that is is just a bit of a button mash. But effectively, most planets, you're just destroying buildings, and you move on to the next one. And that is effectively the game. There's not much to it. Uh, so it gets a bit boring, uh, a bit bland, uh, and there's not much you can really say much to it. So the gameplay, uh, is, is a 1 out of 5, especially as once you've completed the story there's nothing else to the game apart from maybe picking up the armor pieces that were hidden in the game that you may have missed. Music, I gave a 1 out of 5. The sound effects are shoddy uh, and, and basic. The Guardian's grunt, there's no real sense of destruction uh, put across when you're destroying the buildings. It's, it's just a bit grey and dull, if you can say that for uh, the sounds, that there's nothing really going on, there's no big noises, big explosions, just to give you a sense of actually, you're destroying supposedly big cities. Um, also, it's the same music over and over again, to be it on the, the main menu, on the galaxies, it's the same song that just repeats, and there's nothing to it really, uh, so it has to have a 1 out of 5, because it's just doesn't feel like much effort was put in amongst putting your stock music in. The graphics, I give a 2 out of 5. This is a Vita game, so I have to take this in consideration. The, the planets can get quite bright and colourful. Um, the Guardians are all unique and different. They look different, but apart from that, there's not much else. The buildings look quite similar. Sometimes you can't distinguish between certain buildings for what they are or what they even are in the first place. Um, it's only after you've played them several times that you may identify what the factories may look like compared to other factories or if tall buildings are actual factories or mega cities and, and whatever else. So everything gets a bit of a blur sometimes, but most of the time you're just destroying going through everything anyway that it doesn't really matter. Platinum difficulty, I give a 2 out of 5. Roughly this game's going to take you about 10 hours on average. It isn't really difficult. Basically, you get halfway through the first galaxy, and when you get through all that to the third galaxy, there's a difficulty spike. 
but once you get through that, the rest of the game just seems really easy um, and mediocre compared to the, the very first steps you take in difficulty. Um, and once you've done the story, every galaxy is a trophy. Once you've done the story, that's another, uh, that's a nice gold trophy. And all you need to do is go back and find the hidden armor pieces for each character. But that's pretty damn simple in itself, uh, and you've done it pretty damn quick. Um, the only thing that really jars is the grind. Once you've done all that, you finish the game, you have about 20,000 buildings destroyed, and you still need 230,000 buildings left. A quarter of a million is what you need, and that gives you the, gro the gold trophy, and it's just a tedious, tedious grind, and it leaves a sour taste in the trophy hunt for a game that's pretty small, compact, and just pretty quick to get through. This adds hours onto grinding, and it's just unnecessary. Um, so that makes it a two out of five for the platinum, uh, as you've got to take into difficulty and the grind of what it is. Uh, so I hope this guide helps. That was the review section. Um, I hope you get the platinum fairly quickly. So this is Space Overlords, not a difficult platinum, uh, fairly easy to obtain. Uh, this is free on PlayStation Plus. Uh, so from the start, you just want to go into your story mode, single player, and you just want to play through the story. There's seven galaxies, each with eight planets. Um, there's four characters. Uh, or actually, I think there's three, and then you unlock him with the armor, which we'll go into as that's a trophy. I went with Turbang for most of the game. Started off with Kavakaran, and uh, never really played with Burak Shahat, but Turbang seems to be just the better, better all-rounder. Um, so all you do is you select your character. Make sure during the game that you play with each one of the characters and at least complete one planet. So basically this is your galaxy. There's seven of them. And as you go through the game, it will automatically put you to where you are. So this is your first galaxy. Um, don't really care for the cutscenes. Just literally just press uh, options to skip them. But yeah, you got a variety of planets. You'll have the name of the planet, but the more important stipulation is just underneath it. So you get free rampage there. And as you see, they're all free rampage, and then it starts to get a little bit difficult with overpowered turrets. Three or four hits and your character dies when you're playing the game. The same there. Um, there's other game modes as you're playing through that are easy to figure out. Uh, but all you do is you just work your way through the whole of uh, the game. Um, so mostly the object of the game is destroy all the buildings on the planet. Uh, it's just loading up. The object of the aim is just to go around and destroy buildings. You get these little factories here that will uh, build up enemy tanks behind you. And every time you destroy buildings in the bottom corner you'll get tokens which can enable you to earn power-ups. Um, the green one, you press down on the d-pad and shield. The red one, I can press that there, gives you strength so I can go through the buildings a lot quicker. Uh, they're timed as well, so after a few seconds, as you see, there it goes. Pressing up gives you agility. And all you gotta do is just go through the game, destroying the buildings within the time limit, or not die. Well, if you die, it starts all over again. Okay, for the planet. Uh, but yeah, you just go through. See, I've taken a lot of uh, damage. 
And as you get nearer to the end, you get a little blue light and start showing you where everything else is to finish the level. And that is basically the game. And every planet, there'll be little stipulations like you can only destroy everything with um, the strength or the agility run. But it's easy to figure out. Uh, with the game, you just take your time. There's some bits that are quite tricky, mostly in the Galaxy World 2. Anything with overpowered turrets is a pain. But after you get through the initial three galaxies, everything gets uh, easier and you should be able just to start getting through the game quite easily. Um, once you've completed the game, there is a collectible. And we'll go to the sixth galaxy here. Uh, you need to do this with every character in the game. And it's always the very last planet, which is usually an Overlord deathmatch. Um, chapter 2, 4, 5 and 6, I've got the pieces that you need. And you need to do all four of those over, uh, Overlord deathmatches with each character. And I'm going to show you what you need to go and destroy. Unlock the ultimate Overlord trophy. Personally, but sometimes I've destroyed it and the guardians. You do that with each character for chapter 2, 4, 5, and 6, and you'll get the ultimate overlord. As you can see, you can't really miss it, it's a giant pyramid type diamond. And once you complete the match, you'll get this screen telling you you've got that piece. You need all four pieces per character for the four characters and you unlock the trophy. So it will be uh, Meriandus, Boreas Finsis, Aragai Galaxy, and the Alpha Nemesis. It is the last planet, planet 8, and all you need to do is beat the diamond look for it on the planet, destroy it, and in theory you should win it, and it will tell you that you've got the armor piece. A uh, good thing to note is e each time you're playing, even if you keep failing, just keep destroying the buildings and it will bring up tokens, and if you get the tokens, you can then start using the power-ups. So you can actually build up a stockpile of tokens to get you through some of the levels. So if you are stuck, go back to some other levels, just grind out for destroying the buildings so you've got the points for your, to your tokens then go back to the level you're stuck on and try it that way using your abilities um, but once the story is done it's just a little bit of grinding left to do now so the next bit is the level editor I see it all you need to do is create eight planets make sure they all have an individual um, unique match type for the planet and you're gonna get the trophies for challenge creator, planet creator and uh, I can't remember what the other one was but it's for the eight costume planets 
Uh, so all you do is you go create a new planet. Don't really need to give it a name. You can give it whatever types of look and uh, image. Doesn't matter at all. And once you've done that, it says to populate your planet. Now this is where you need to go to select level type. And so when you're doing your first planet, go free rampage. Your second planet, make it the defend the obelisk, and so forth. I think there's you're gonna make nine planets. So you've got four matches here, four matches there, and you've got this one as well. So you'll need to make nine planets for the matches, but make sure each planet has a unique match type and that will unlock the trophy for, for that. So you just free rampage. I hit square to make sure it's saved. I press circle. And as you see, there it is. And that's a planet. Eight planets makes the galaxy. And you get the trophy for that. Really easy. For the grind, and this is the worst bit of it, you need to have a quarter of a million buildings destroyed. Um, so the best way to do this, because once you go through the story, you're going to average about 20,000 buildings. So you're barely going to make a dent. Um, so the best way to get this trophy, uh, which would be the Overdrive Overlord, which will be the last trophy you get in this game, you can grind it out from playing the story just as normal. Or if you want to get it quickly and can grind it, this is the best way I've, I found for it. So. I went to create my planet. Um, I mostly made this one out of ice to try and make sure I've got plenty of landscape. And when it comes to populate your planet, you'll see here that you can add types of buildings. Now, there is certain individual buildings you need to actually grind out. So here you've got the power plants and you need to destroy a thousand. You've got the comm stations here and you need a thousand of them as well. Um, so depending on what it is the building you need, just create it. And you'll be able to put it all over the place. As you can see, my planet's full. I've put a load of standard buildings here. But you just put them into a section and you'd keep pressing it until the bar on the side where it says population fills to a thousand. You get about 195 buildings that you can place down. So getting the uh, comm stations, the mega cities and the power stations, or whichever building you need, is going to be around five matches. If that, because you'd have destroyed a load in the actual game. If it's not in population, then the buildings themselves, so there's the mega cities is in this section here. Um, also make sure you add your starting point and always we'll try and put it about dead central. So once you've grind out all your simple 1000 trophies then you need to move on to making sure that all of the buildings are your standard little civilian buildings here. Civilian building 1. As you can see on this planet, that's what I've done. I've put all 195 all clumped together. So I'll just leave that. Uh, so I made two planets. I made the set two identical planets. This one, I put all of my specific like mega cities, comm stations, power stations. I put that on that planet. Um, 195 of one specific type. Uh, grinded it till it got to the trophy deleted all of that and replaced the buildings with the other building types I needed. This one I just kept with my simple buildings. So we'll just leave that. It doesn't let you play those maps unless you go to multiplayer. And we'll just let this load up. You can select any of the Guardians, it really doesn't matter. And instead of multiplayer planets, you go over to my galaxy. And as you can see, 
your planets that you have made will come up here. So you click whichever planet you're going to spawn. Even though it says multiplayer, you can do this by yourself. You don't need an additional player. So as you see, I put all the buildings to come together. And the reason for this is that when you start the match, you get destroyed nearly all of them. So that's 174 there. And then, like that, what you do, is before the game reloads onto the stat screen, just press start, and just literally press restart. As you see, it will load up. So that was 195 buildings down. method works and that's it, the best and quickest way to get all the buildings grinded out for you um, otherwise you're going to be here for a long time but once you've done that the overdrive overlord for 250,000 buildings will be yours and that will be your platinum so if you just leave it you see Press come to this screen here. You can restart it from here, but it's just all a few extra seconds that you could have literally pressed start and just restarted. And that is pretty much the platinum. 